mean, down by 10 to 12 points and making their move in the second half. So our work is not anywhere near uh, finished. We're the aggressor tonight. We're the most aggressive team. We're taking it to them on the crashing, the free throw crashing, driving the basket, rolling hard, all those types of things. We're earning those free throws. And they have a ton of them. 32 free throw attempts for the Lakers as we get underway here in this third quarter. Denver down 11. LeBron James, Anthony Davis, both had good first halves. Chris, the Denver Nuggets and Frank Vogel hit on it. They've been a second half team. You see the numbers right there. They've had big comebacks throughout their regular season and the playoffs. Well, I'll tell you what, my mom's a teacher. And one thing I know is when a teacher asks a question and everybody's engaged, that means it's been a good teacher. And so right there, Frank Vogel brought that point up that no team has had more comebacks from 15 or more than this Denver Nuggets team. Right? How about Dwight Howard getting the start here in the second half over JaVale McGee? His activity paying dividends in that second quarter. Him and Rondo and the Lakers starting that second quarter on a 17-1 run here as the Joker picks up his fourth Man, foul here. Unbelievable. Physical play, and that's what Dwight Howard brings. Frustrating offensive players. Howard was a difference maker, and LeBron James rewards him. Flying high, Dwight Howard. Year 17 to year 16 in the NBA. Turning the clock back a little bit, those two. See what between Dwight Howard, Javel McGee, and his limited minutes in that first quarter, and Anthony Davis. They have kind of taken the Joker out of this game right here. He, he's just not engaged with these four fouls. A little sidestep by Jokic. So tough. It's like in the Tim Duncan days. You have to get by a great defender like Tim Duncan. And if you do, if you do, you're met at the rim by David Robinson. The length right here is so tough for the Lakers. Lakers with 17 assists now, only three turnovers. And big games turned in by James and Davis already. And Howard was a difference maker on that big run Reggie talked about in the second quarter. That 17 1 start for the Lakers. Here's Millsap. Jokic now with four fouls. Murray with three fouls. Millsap with three fouls in that first half as well. Those three spent a good portion of that second quarter on the bench. Grant can't hit. And it's Davis with a rebound. And no whistles right there. <laughs> Look, they don't want to give Jokic his fifth foul. If, if he did not have four, there's a lot of contact down there. I think you're right. That The officials had that look on their face. That nothing to see here kind of look. <laughs> Murray on James, bullet pass to Caldwell. Pope steps into a two. Nothing wrong with a nice 18-footer. We get so enamored with the three-point line. Nice job there by KCP with the pump fake. Feels like for whatever reason, the mid-range, it always makes a comeback in the playoffs, but especially the bubble playoffs this year. Right. Seen a ton of twos. Two-man game, Grant and Jokic. He's got James on him now. Here's Murray with Howard on him. Just shakes it loose and rattles home a three. Nuggets know they're going to need a big second-half performance from Murray and Jokic. 18 points for Jamal Murray. His second made three. James finding Davis. Millsap on him. Gets by him. Davis scores it. He's checking with Allie the four. She had a chance to visit with Michael Malone. What do you allow, Allie? VA, the 32 free throw attempts were certainly troubling, but he said fouls aside, I want to stick to our original game plan, which is get back in transition and make them play in the half court. There's no denying the Lakers. 19% of their possessions come in transition this postseason. That is by far the most of any team in the postseason. So he doesn't want the team to get caught up in the foul calling and forget about that. He also said offensively, we have to stay in attack mode and put the pressure on their defense. All right, good stuff there, Allie. Harris in attack mode, lost it off his leg. That was a nice play by Contavious Caldwell Pope, forcing that turnover. Denver had seven turnovers in the first six minutes of the second quarter. Protected the ball well in the last six minutes, had none as James misses a three. Denver, they'll be happy with those shots the rest of this half. LeBron rolled his left ankle, but has shown no signs for the worse here of that. Good find by Murray in the corner is Grant. Can't hit the three. It's no shots that they gonna have to make here in this series to be successful. Those wide open corner threes from dribble penetration. 
Denver just five for 16 from behind the arc. Murray, the only nugget with multiple threes in the game. Grant draws the LeBron James assignment. Backs his way in, they clear it out. And Grant making it tough for him. Shot clock down to nine. All LeBron here, he spins, LeBron goes. Harris for three, no. Danny Green, I beg your pardon. And now it's James, gets the offensive board, he'll reset it. Anthony Davis along two. And finally secured by Grant. The D by Millsap that time, stunting and not letting Davis drive by him, forcing the tough jumper. Millsap gives it up, three-pointer is up, and in for Jamal Murray. That's his third three-pointer made. Murray now seven of ten shooting. Three of those are threes. He's got 21. Davis gets it deep. Oh, tough shot. Howard right there. And Dwight Howard with the putback. What an efficient evening for Dwight Howard. Nine points, three rebounds. Very solid at the defensive end here. It's going to be on the sideline. That'll be Laker ball. Paul Millsap creating offense here, which has been a struggle for Jamal Murray. 21 points. And Dwight Howard with the putback. Got the starting nod here in the second half for the Lakers.